Welcome back to Cooking with Michelle. I'm Joel Gilly. We have Michelle Estrada with us today. We're in the beautiful demonstration kitchen here at the uh, Cooperative Extension here at the Maxwell Center here in Goldsboro. And Michelle is our family and consumer science agent with the Cooperative Extension, which means she teaches all kinds of fun classes and seminars and educational events surrounding healthy eating, safe eating, healthy cooking. Mm -hmm. um, but then also a lot of food safety stuff too. That's so. right, it's a fun job. It is. I can't complain and I get to eat. Hey, that's the so, best part. Oh, that's, yes. <laughs> We've got a really cool recipe here today. Uh, the first step is mm -hmm. always to wash your hands mm -hmm. before you start cooking. So I'm gonna go wash my hands while you talk about the recipe. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands. So we're gonna introduce this wonderful, I think we should call this soup, the super soup. And not just because it's full of nutrients, but also because it's super, super easy. So the name of this soup is Parmesan white bean soup with spinach. So the ingredients that we're gonna need for this soup, we're gonna need a yellow onion. We're also gonna need uh, a little bit of sugar. We're gonna need Italian seasoning. We're gonna need uh, black pepper and we're gonna need some salt. Also, we're gonna need some minced garlic. We're gonna need um, olive oil. Uh, and then we're gonna need some vegetable um, broth. We're gonna need some cube tomatoes or diced tomatoes. We're gonna need any white beans. Uh, these are cannellini. And we're gonna need another superfood that is spinach. Tag them. Yeah. And the best Super easy. part, we're gonna be able to finish this soup in only 15 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. What's our first step? So the first step is that we're going to have to dice the onion. All right. And I help you with uh, mincing the garlic. I appreciate so that. Just do the onion. So how are we mm -hmm. going to teach these people how to do this onion? Oh, okay. So remember that we always want to leave. I these. always do something just a little bit wrong, and so instead of just doing it, I just ask her how That's I should do it. That's right. <laughs> So we're going to leave this intact because the root is what is going to hold the whole onion. We're right? going to slice the other mm -hmm. end off. So we're going to cut these because we want to have a flat side. Yep. And then we're going to slice it in half. Then we're going to slice it in half. So I just have to remind myself. Peel it and then we'll go from there. I will always do one little step wrong. That's this okay. is the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. And we Sometimes all have at different home. techniques. And, you know, I'm sure that you may say it, I have been cutting my onions for years this way. And if that works for you, that's fine. But this uh, technique will also help you if you have to cut a lot of onions. You know, it's going to protect your uh, joints yep. from getting... Um, from getting some pain and things like that. So this is really what um, what normally we'll do. So uh, it will help you. And once you learn how to, uh, a little bit of knife skills, you just get comfortable. So it's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So just um, remember we hold our knife this way. We haven't done it in a while now. So just be sure that this is the way you hold it. We're gonna. And then you're gonna slide yeah, in here. I remember that part. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go this way. Are so, we doing both halves? Yes, okay. we're gonna do the whole onion. Uh, and for this recipe, that's what is gonna give you a lot of the flavor between the garlic and the onions. And this garlic is smelling so strong. Uh, I'm already washed my hands, I don't know how many times, and I still have it in my hands. And remember, you always have the option to use fresh, um, I'm gonna stop you a little bit there, Joe. <laughs> So this is just uh, my preference. I, in the soup, I don't like big, big uh, chunks of onion, but that's just me. Okay. If you're good with that, we're fine. I don't care, mm -hmm. but I can make them smaller. So smaller, it will just be your size will be smaller. So if you think that, oh, you know, I don't really like onions or my children are not gonna eat the onions. So just be sure that when you're making your soup, and this is basically the, the base of your soup. So be sure that you're cutting those vegetables to a size that the whole family will eat. Some people, they love to have those big, um, you know, those chunks of onion, that's okay. And other people, they prefer small them and smaller. So um, we were talking about how healthy is the soup? So, like I said, I presented this soup like a super soup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and again, it's because it is just so easy to make, but also because the nutrients that we have in here are is they are very high. 
in to this section because this soup is so easy to make I'm going to talk a little bit about how important it is to read labels and normally I will not present the um, the products with their labels just to protect the brands and don't you know choose one brand over the other one I don't care about the brand I do care about what product is better and what's uh, healthier for us so um, this is one thing that uh, like we're, we're, this month we're talking a lot about a healthy heart right and so how can we keep our hearts healthy um, sadly but um, my whole family my husband's family they suffer from diabetes and one of the things that I have noticed for many many years is you know when you have diabetes and you don't have the diabetes that is controlled, one of the main organs that will get affected is the heart. So how can we um, take charge and how can we, what can we do to really uh, do something? So in order to do something, we need to be sure that we are choosing low sodium, low cholesterol, low fat. Yeah. So that's, that's the main thing. And that's why we have this show. You know, you can go and uh, get recipes anywhere, Absolutely. but we want to be sure that you are getting healthy options. So now we can start um, heating our, our olive oil. Okay. okay. That's right. We would need so that first. So normally this is the way you will start a recipe, just by heating your oil, and you want to be sure that it is uh, hot. So one of the things, because um, we always start talking and we don't um, really take care of what we're doing, so I'm just going to put a little bit of onion inside of the um, oil. That's an expert tip there. Yes. It is. Yeah. So that way I don't, yep. you know, burn the oil. <laughs> so as soon we start um, hearing the sizzling of our onion, we'll know that the oil is ready. So the first step is going to uh, put the onion and the garlic. And we want to have that translucent uh, color in the onion. Now, do we put it both in at the same time, or are we going to cook the onion a little I longer? I always prefer to cook Me the too. onion longer because then, it, you know, sometimes we can burn the garlic. Yep. And okay, now we hear it. We are so, good to go. Mm -hmm. We are. It's time to put our. Onions. We've got a lot of different size mm -hmm. onions here because <laughs> we started off much bigger. We progressively got much smaller though, but. So the lesson from there is just be sure that you have an even cut well, so it cooks. I had some instructions that came after, after I started. That's right, that's right. It was my fault. The second it's onion <laughs> was fault. much better than the first mm -hmm. one. So um, in here we're having onions and garlic. So do you know how uh, garlic and onion can help your um, body? No. Just so you know, most of the times we're eating things and we don't even know if it's like they're just like they taste good, right? And you know, anything with onion and garlic, yeah, if you good. love them, is good. So, onion and garlic will help you to lower your cholesterol and your blood pressure. So, these are important things that we normally use and we don't know, right? The biggest problem is that normally we use onion and garlic with maybe meats that they're high in saturated fats. So saturated fats, that's something that we need to avoid, that we need to reduce from our um, eating patterns. Yeah. So, and what we have in here, like for example, uh, the spinach. You know, we have to talk about the greens that are really good for us. And in the, in the case of the spinach, did you know that it's healthier to eat this? Yes, you good with it's that? Time. Mm -hmm. To, it's healthier to eat this spinach cooked than just raw. Raw is amazing. It's yes, great. Yes, mm -hmm. I did know mm -hmm. that. But when you cook, it's easier to absorb. Yeah. So, uh, and we know the spinach is. Which is a little bit backwards, right? Like we usually right. think. Right, normally it's the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we also talked about like things like squash and things like that. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes we overcook them and we ruin a lot of the. That's you know? correct, that's correct. The more uh, temperature, that, or the more we cook, you know, temperature and time, uh, it is going to really affect yep. the nutrients that we have there. But in case of like kale or spinach, uh, it's the other way. So, uh, and that doesn't mean that you don't need to eat raw spinach. 
you know, raw spinach is great, and if you cannot find fresh spinach and you get it from the can, not my favorite, but you know, we all think we're all yeah. different. Um, or uh, frozen spinach, it's always good. And when I said this is like, again, this is my preference. When I'm eating spinach, I don't like mushy spinach. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, but if you're good with that, that's good. So I think it's looking really good. It's already smelling amazing. So again, this recipe is so easy. The only things that we're gonna add at this point is the spices. Okay. So we have a little bit of sugar. And if you want to get rid of the sugar because any like, health reasons, that's okay. But I, we put the sugar because it's gonna cut the acidity of the tomato. So we'll put the sugar. Uh, we all also have Italian seasoning. If you want, if you have this uh, secret seasoning that you make at <laughs> home or something, you're more than welcome to use it. But normally, you know, Italian seasoning, we always have it at home. At least I do. Yeah. And now we're going to put the salt and pepper. Uh, and you're going to notice something. In most of our recipes, we put one fourth of a teaspoon. This time we're putting half of a teaspoon, okay? So um, we are doing that because all this is very low, low in sodium. sodium. So we, again, every time that we cook something, this is like super, super healthy. And we want to be sure that we're gonna eat it, yeah. okay? So now that we have that, we're gonna add um, the chicken broth. Okay. No, the chicken, the vegetable. It's vegetable broth. Vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also the tomatoes. Okay. And we're going to take these to boil. Okay. And then we're going to simmer for five minutes. So it's all... Not yet. Mm -hmm. There okay. we go. So just to give you a little bit of information while we wait for... Um, our liquids and the spices to boil. Um, so normally I will give you, I always give you the nutritional facts of the recipe, right? Yeah. So um, when you have, when you get this, this recipe, it's gonna change depending on the brand of, of the product because they are all different. So that's why it's so important, especially if your doctor is telling you to follow um, a, a, a diet or something, you need to be sure that you do the math yeah. too. So uh, let's just start with the beans. So in this case, um, half a cup, this is almost a cup, because when you rinse it and dra uh, drain it, uh, but here it says that half of a cup is 110 calories, right? So the sodium is 270 milligrams. So that means that we're gonna double yeah. that. And then when we double that in this recipe, we have four cans, yeah. okay, or four, um, yeah, four cans. So very, very, very important to drain and rinse as much as we can, so we can at least reduce the sodium to um, 30%. So most of the times I get the one that is not um, salt, no yeah. salt added, but these type There's white no, beans, no. Yeah. Okay, so, but if you can find it, at least here in Goldsboro, I didn't find any, but if you can find it, uh, you know, you can get try that. to, yeah. mm -hmm, that would be a better option. So another thing, something that we're not draining and then we're not raising them, because we put it like just from out of the can, is the diced tomatoes. In this case, we have no salt added. Oh, perfect. So when we go, but even with that, when we go to look at sodium, it's 15 milligrams, yeah. okay? So we know that we need to add that, okay? So now we have sodium in this and we have sodium in this. So this is a healthy, healthy, healthy. So can you imagine if you go to your favorite restaurant yeah. and you ask for a soup, a vegetable soup. It's wonderful, right? Yep. It's full of well, it's nutrients. What think. It's right, what you think. Right, right. It's, it's a better option than getting a hamburger or yeah, something. Yeah. But still, if you are in a low 
uh, sodium diet, you need to be very careful. Okay, so another thing, you go to uh, look for a chicken broth or for a vegetable broth, oh, it's like you have so many options. It's really hard to, to find one. So for me, it was hard. I think this is the only brand that um, sells a low sodium uh, vegetable broth. Okay. Normally, they are just regular. Yeah. And this one is 120 milligrams for one cup. So again, even with that it's healthy yep. and it's not, you know, no saturated fats, no nothing, it still has low sodium. So I know for all my own experience that when the doctor recommends you to go be in a low sodium diet or a low um, fat diet or sugars, it is very hard, yeah. it is complicated. We invite you to, um, to go to our trainings, to learn a little bit more about uh, how to read labels, and that's going to help you to, to navigate all these yeah. in, in a better way, okay? So right now, we're just waiting for the soup to boil. And it's like right there. Yeah. It, like it wants uh -huh. to boil. I think it's because Joel is watching the I think pot. it's because I am. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> But again, like all those flavors is what we want to, um, you know, we want to mix. So why we haven't put this? Because we don't want to burn it. Not just that, but we don't want everything to mushy. be like mushy. Yeah. Yes, because beans are very, um, you know, easy to, to get mushy. Right. So this is another thing that cannellini is not my favorite bean, white bean. I'd rather navy beans because yeah. they're smaller. But for this recipe, I choose this one. If you don't like, these are like kidney beans. You're the one that made like, the recipe. Why'd you put beans you don't like in there? Oh, because I was kind of, I was following the <laughs> recipe. But um, when I do it for my family, I put navy beans. Yeah. beans. And it's almost the same amount of calories. And uh, But it, I think it looks prettier. Yeah. But I don't know. I think some people, they may like um, this one better because they have, they are a little bit more meter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we don't put the spinach right now because, again, we I'm don't mushy. want to get all mushy. Yeah. So it's boiling right now, and we're just going to let it simmer uh, for five minutes, and then we can come back. So we need to let it just boil? We're going to um, load the... To simmer? Uh-huh, to simmer. I got mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We'll see you back in five minutes. All right, so we've had this simmering for five, five minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add the beans and we're going to add the spinach. Okay. And then we're going to let it simmer like, but we're going to um, higher the, uh, the heat a little bit. Not boiling, but like, like simmer. Yeah. Hot, hard. <laughs> hard simmer? Hard I don't know. Simmer. Yeah. And look at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I mess up something? <laughs> Was I not supposed to dump that in? Yeah, you're fine. Just, oh, no, what did I do? No, just, you're fine. Just, uh, you could have just mixed the beans first and then. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I could have done that. Yeah, I yeah. got you. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of gentle uh, stir the soup. I got you, bro. <laughs> it's my bad. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just got so excited. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> what temperature should I be at? Like You're uh, good. You're good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you kind of like um, between low and medium, that would be fine. So we just want to be sure that, again, we don't get that uh, spinach mushy. Yeah. But it, it needs to But we to want it to get a little bit mushy. Right. That's correct. A little mushy, not too mushy. Not too mushy. Um, so we're going to uh, do this around for two minutes. And, um, and then guess what? So it's going to be ready. Ready to eat. Yeah. So that was just so easy, right? Oh, yeah. Like the hardest part is to cut the uh, onion and to mince the garlic. Yep. And you know, sometimes at the grocery store, if you're going for uh, convenient, just buy it already cut. Yep. And, and the same thing for the garlic, if that's how you want it. But believe me, if you want a really fresh um, soup, this is the way to go. And if you want, if you have from your garden, I know it's not time yet, but if you have from your garden tomatoes, 
that is another way you can use fresh tomatoes yeah. too. Mm -hmm. see, you can really see how it's starting to. Uh huh. Yeah, it's getting there. Become more. It like looks a good so suit. pretty. I'm always for the look. Oh no. no. Mm -hmm. Just be sure that you are like mixing everything, and um, in ten, you can put the Parmesan cheese on top. I don't like it. Yeah. So I like it on my bowl just because um, if it melts on the pot, then you don't really taste it. Yeah, no, I'm with you. So what Save we're going to do. Save that for the plating. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the other side of the kitchen and we're going to serve the soup and we're going to. Enjoy. Yeah, we're going to shred our um, cheese. All right. We'll see you over on the other side of the kitchen. So. Now we're gonna, we got this fresh Parmesan here. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can do it with the Biz, but I don't the want OG, your finger. <laughs> if you would like. Michelle has this much more bougie gadget here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've gone to a certain Italian restaurant and you've bought one of their little uh, thing. Mm -hmm. either way. But uh, we're just gonna take our cheese, mm -hmm. put it right in here and get us some freshly shredded Parmesan. And again, just remember, um, this is a fat, uh, a low fat cheese. Um, but again, you're gonna have to read the label. And also remember that um, Parmesan cheese has sodium. So the recommendation is that one tablespoon per bowl, but it's up to you. And I think we got what we need. we got enough for right mm -hmm. now. So while you're doing that, I'm going to read the nutritional facts uh, for this recipe. And again, they can vary. Uh, but the serving is like eight, um, you have like eight uh, servings. The serving size is around two cups. Calories only 163. So very low in calories. Total fat is 3.6 grams. And the saturated fat is only one gram, so very good for your heart. Uh, and then we have the sodium. Look at we cut the um, sodium a lot in this recipe, but even with that, uh, one bowl will be or two cups will be 556 milligrams. Carbs 23.3, fiber seven. So this is really good. Seven grams total. Sugars 3.5, and then we have protein that is coming from the beans, 10.3 uh, grams. So very healthy. And I am so excited. Is that enough cheese? Yeah, that's okay. wonderful. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I learned is when scooping, make sure you get a good balance. I think we got mm -hmm. a good balance. Yes. Because you want to get a little bit of everything. Yeah. So I'm going to burn my it's warm, but it's not, not terrible. Mm -hmm. mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Someone was telling me that, you know, normally your vegetable soup, and but they were saying that this is not your normal vegetable soup. It doesn't taste like vegetable soup. It's hot. No, it doesn't. But this is really good. And I'll be honest, I'm not like... Normally going to go for spinach uh -huh. in a lot of my meals, but this is a really good way to eat your spinach. Mm -hmm. Like if your kids have a problem with spinach, this is the way to do it because you can't taste anything. That's really good. Actually, someone was here last week and we were um, trying the soup and she said, I don't like spinach. And it's, I start asking her questions and she said that she didn't like it because the only way she even ever tried it, it was from the can. And I don't like spinach This is from a whole different ball mm -hmm. game. This is amazing, Michelle. I just love this soup. So healthy, so easy to make. One Super thing, easy. One thing that we always complain about, oh, I don't eat healthy because I don't have time. <laughs> you got no excuse with this. No. 15 mm -hmm. minutes? Mm -hmm. Come on. And, ba and basically, you go shopping for your beans for your spinach, your tomatoes. Yeah, everything else you got. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Give this recipe a try. It really is truly delicious. It's a 15 minute recipe. 
Mm -hmm. It gets you a very healthy recipe as well and a good way to eat your spinach. Mm -hmm. And uh, you did it again. You found us a delicious Thank recipe. You. So if you have a question about this recipe, if there's something you want us to try on the show, reach out to Michelle here at the Cooperative Extension here in uh, Wayne County. She'll be glad to, uh, to talk about that. If you have questions about any of the upcoming events that she has, you can give her a call, get on the mailing list, whatever you need to do. She's got a lot going on here. And uh, anything else? No, I'm going to eat my soup. Yeah, we're going to go hungry. enjoy our lunch. And we'll <laughs> see you again next time right here on Cooking with Michelle. See you next time.